kid. Th- this is, again, he's turned, LeBron James has turned his son into the make a swish kid. And they're celebrating. Here's LeBron after the game. They get their butts kicked. I just don't know if he. <laughs> I ain't hating. Shout out to my nigga. I, I, I know the guy I'm not you. hating. I don't care about Bronny and Bronny and LeBron. Play the game. Do whatever y'all want. Yeah. I hope Bryce make it to the league too. But I honestly, when my eye, when I watch the game, I just don't think he that nice at basketball. Like that's a real opinion. Yeah, yeah. yeah I ain't, yeah. I'm not hating, but I just nah. don't think. I'll be like, bro, I don't, I don't see it. Like when I watched USC last year, I know he was hurt. He got hurt, you know, serious injury or whatever. But I'm just like, nah, mm. I don't see it. Yeah. Especially think- in that position. What y'all did? What you just heard is two clips. One is uh, Jason Whitlock, and the uh, second clip that you heard was Jeff Teague on his podcast. And um, I'm gonna be honest, man. I kind of, I kind of agree with both of them. And I don't really agree with Jason Whitlock on a lot of different things. I do think that he mostly trolls. Um, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Even with with Jeff Teague, man. It it this seems. It, it seems forced, man. It do. And I know that I, I make videos and listen, salute the LeBron that you got enough. You got so much power that you can, you got the owners begging you that you're able to get your son out there playing, you know, and I don't, and, it, and, it's, and it's hard because I got a son, you know what I'm saying? And my son ain't that much younger than LeBron's son. However, it would be hard for me to throw him out there. I know he ain't ready. Now, this is Jeff Teague, who's an NBA, a former NBA player, who is saying that I watched him play in the preseason and he's just not ready. You see other people, you know, even though Devin Booker denied it, you saw that. You saw uh, the Jalen Browns. And yet, when people call things out, they're considered a hater. You know, why you hating on LeBron? Why you hating on this man? And, um, you got to get people like Gilbert Arena. And I like Gil. Salute to Gil, Gil's arena. People will, 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 their argument will say, well, I mean, Ronnie's a, the number 55th overall pick. Fine. Okay, cool. But how many 55th overall picks you know doing endorsements? LeBron got, I mean, Bronny got endorsements with Beats. He got endorsements with, uh, or he did Men's Health Magazine. He got endorsements with Nike. Uh, he got endorsements with some clothing line. What was that that PSD? Whatever that clothing line is. He had endorsements with that. He was on uh, the commercial for 2K. And he, he had a top-selling jersey over the summer, if I, if I remember correctly, right? So, it, and also, they created a, a second night for the second round of the NBA draft. Mind you, nobody really knew who the players was coming out. And they said this was the week draft in a long time but they created it just for Bronny. when any other time you do the first round you do the second round no because they wanted to anticipate Bronny being selected by the lakers so you can't do all of this to a, a person i don't care what pick he is number one or number 55 and then get mad when people call out his gameplay and um and even like okay i know Amadi Bates wouldn't pick 55 but he was that pick definitely picked the 49th pick last year and you had people saying, you know, oh, some people say he was good. Some people say he's bad. But at least Amadi can go get a bucket. And he showed that he can shoot the ball in the NBA game. But, yeah, when it comes to Bronny, Bronny goes out there and scores two points. He had to, The man had a press conference for two points. Him and LeBron. Two points and one block. I mean, one one steal. My bad. One steal. Any other player, this wouldn't even have made the news. Nobody would have talked about it. But because it's LeBron and Bronny that they actually had a press conference about two points. I get it. It's in LeBron's hometown. All of that. It ain't like he scored 10 points. Hell, he could have scored eight points and, and three steals. But you scored two points, one steal, and you would have thought you hit the game-winning shot, the Ray Allen, the Kyrie Irving game-winning shots in the finals. And, um, and, and it's just funny funny that we change our standards for who we like right when LeVar Ball was talking about Lonzo's better than Steph Curry and he's better than majority of point guards and he's gonna be a hall of famer y'all held Lonzo to a totally different standard and yet if you can compare Lonzo to Bronny Lonzo's a, is a hall of famer compared to Bronny I don't really it, it, it really seems like Bronny just standing out there and um you know I get it when you see Bronny he's very athletic even though he's undersized he's very athletic but this is a this is a uh, player who should have been at least a three four year player in college. And I didn't play the audio, but Jeff T talked about how he can see he looked at Dalton Connect and like okay you, yeah he can play. But I believe Connect played at least four years, four or five years in college. So just imagine if Bronny would have had four or five years, but because LeBron is in a hurry, it it, it 
like th this is completely forced and i really hate that for bonnie because he's going to be forever known as a kid and, and again maybe if he go to the g league but if, if things don't turn around he'll be forever known as the kid who was forced in the nba forced to go out there and play and when I mean a force, not against his own will, but because he can't play. <laughs> he can't play out there in the NBA right now. Now, if he spent the rest of the year in the G League, cool. But you put him out there, and Bronny just really seems like a fish out of water to me. So, I don't know. I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I agree with, with Jason Whitlock and Jeff Teague. I mean, he just he, he is not ready at this time. And I get it. Love, people was hyping Bronny up since he was in middle in middle school what fifth grade fourth fifth grade and you thought that he would get lebron's height him and bryce and i see people talking about bryce and i'm like yeah i don't know i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it yet and again i'm not talking about these these young men not being productive citizens or or even great in other things i'm talking about nba i'm not seeing it at least not at this moment it's just weird that we have these two totally different standards. One I man will get a 50th overall pick, but then, you know, but, and it's okay for him to have all these endorsements, but don't you say nothing because he did 50, 55th overall pick. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Honestly, give me y'all opinion. Do y'all feel like people are, are tripping? Do you feel like Bronny is really not ready for the NBA? Do you not have a problem with nepotism? And again, we need to see more people. I need to see more people that look like me getting put in these positions. However, at least be ready. You know what I'm saying? So. But who knows? Like I said, I feel like if you'd have stayed two, three years at USC, we would have a totally different conversation. But yeah, let me know what y'all think.